Okie dokie. Hi friends, welcome back to another Renee's Corner video. I'm Tanisha Renee, and today I'm going to be like listing out some of the most common questions I got asked on my internship interviews. Um, this video is recorded on February 10th, so as of right now, I have no idea where I'm going. Um, somebody just joined my Zoom room, and um, I don't know what to do about that. So. Let's pause for a second. Okay, back to what I was saying. I don't know what happened. But basically, I got asked some of the same questions at each interview, and so what I do when I am interviewing in the moment is I write them down, write down the questions. I don't really take notes when I'm interviewing, but I have to write down the question because it helps me think through what they're saying. So, um, yeah, I want to go through this hopefully a little slower than the first take of this because I was speed talking. So basically the interview questions sort of fall into three different buckets. Um, there are research questions, there's questions about your clinical work and questions about general random stuff that doesn't fit into those other two buckets. Um, what I noticed is that I was asked the same questions and I felt like the questions, I only really felt stumped on like one question, I think. Um, so yeah, uh, what else did I wanna say about that? That's it, I guess. So basically what the research questions were was one, tell me about your research slash your dissertation. That's a question that I got asked at every single interview. Um, what stage is it at? Are you recruiting? Have you proposed it? Are you done with it, etc. People go on to internship at different points in their program. So there's some people who like are going into their sixth year of the of like their program and so like their dissertation's been done. And so it varies a lot. So they ask a lot about that. They ask um there were some questions about like what measures I was using, the methods. There were questions about like what the literature says about socioeconomic status and mental health generally, and then what does it say about teenagers, which is what my dissertation is on. Um, my dissertation, I don't know if I've ever talked about it on the channel, but my dissertation is about um, socioeconomic status, social economic statuses impact on racial discrimination and psychological well-being slash psychological distress, like those two things independent of each other. Um, and so I'm really interested in socioeconomic status. No, no, like the literature is very interesting to me. So that's what I do. Um, how did I come to my dissertation topic was a big question. And then one question that was asked that I think probably wasn't asked of most people was what's it like to work under my mentor? Um, my mentor is a big DEI name now. I won't name drop her here because I don't want y'all going to her page. But if you follow me on social media, I shout her out like every other week. So what's it like to work under her? And like, what is she like? What's her work like? How, like, what things I like about her mentorship, etc. And so that was a really cool interview there. Next in the general topic, um, so, I feel like everybody at least once will ask like what interested you in this program and what I did for that question was I just reminded myself like not in the interview but like to answer that question I just re looked at what I wrote in my cover letter of like why I wanted to be there so that's a quick question you can answer very easily what are your strengths and weaknesses what has been the most impactful training experience you've had tell me about yourself slash tell me about yourself outside of psychology, um, future goals, where would you like to work in the future, what sort of setting do you want to work in the future, what um, what populations would you like to work in the future, etc. So then clinical, I feel like there was more questions in the clinical section just because internship is supposed to be a full year of clinical work, not necessarily for research or other graduate school training. It's supposed to be like 100% clinical work year. So um do, do, do. so there were some questions about like how i handled a crisis situation how i handled kids being suicidal um how i handled uh parents being upset disrespectful difficult parents um what has been my biggest challenge in training which hint hint it has been covid um a case where i had to consider cultural 
factors and like what I did to adjust the protocol or to adjust my treatment and intervention for that family um dealing with difficult parents uh what product they asked me one person asked me what protocol would i use in a clinic for a teen or preteen that had a lot of different presenting issues and presenting problems um somebody asked me what's new in clinical psychology for children and adolescents like what's the latest research the latest movements etc what has been my most memorable case um how have i adopted autism spectrum disorder or how have we because it's not just me how have we adopted autism spectrum disorder um assessments for covid um also in my uh in my experience i adapted a parent training for parents and so how have we adopted or adapted that from like pure parent training and how we made it for SLU? um did i they asked me about experiences in peer-to-peer -peer supervision they asked me about like the biopsychosocial model and how I utilize that in clinical assessments. Um, how have I dealt with a client that I did not like? Spoiler alert, I have not had any clients that I didn't like. Um, there's one client that I think hated me, but I did not like him. I thought he was cool, but um, I haven't had any clients that I didn't like. But so you might wanna have an answer for a question like that because I, um, I hadn't had that situation so I had to like not make something up but like talk about it in a way where it felt right like it where it felt truthful because I haven't had a client who I disliked yet um how have I dealt with a tough case and have I ever worked in an interdisciplinary team what are things I like about interdisciplinary teams and what are things I don't like about interdisciplinary teams and those were like the main questions I'm sure there are more um out there but those are the main questions I was asked during my interview so if you have any questions about that or how I responded I would be happy to answer those um, yeah I I'm one of those people who I know I interview very well so like interviewing is kind of my jam um, so I didn't feel like super nervous I felt like these questions were fair and I felt like I had good answers for them I think the one question that stumped me was one lady asked me about how like how basically how physical health what physical health aspects do i consider when i'm doing a clinical assessment not in the hospital and so um i talked about just like family history stuff and how some disorders have a family like a component to it and so blah 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 i answered it was it right i don't know but that one did stop me for sure um yeah, so those are all the questions. I don't really have anything else to say. I said this video was going to be short, so thank you for being here. Um, if you've watched this far, leave a gray emoji or like gray or black, doesn't really matter. If you also have watched this far, there is a secret emoji in my description. If you look at it, put it in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, and yeah, so thanks for being here. I will see you all next week. Peace out, I love you all so much. Make good choices, be good people, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!